Hello everyone, today I'm going to do review of the Acer 315 Chromebook. First thing first, let's go with the outside of the Chromebook and the build. Now this Chromebook is made from aluminum. You will see aluminum on this side. You will also see it on top of the Chromebook. And uh, you will also see it on the bottom. Now the bottom has a couple speaker grills and it also has this rubber stoppers. Now on top of the Chromebook is also made from aluminum and it has that Acer logo on the side and then Chrome logo on the top left. And let's go with the left side. We have a USB-C which charges the Chromebook and also has that light. We have USB 3.0 Type-A, SD card expansion slot, headphone jack. And on the right side, we, we have Kensington lock slide. We have another USB-C, which you can use to charge the Chromebook or as a display port. And we also have another USB Type-A 3.0. Now let's talk about what's inside the Chromebook. We have N4020 CPU, four gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. Now I've been using this Chromebook for the last two weeks and I never experienced any lag, any freezing or anything like that. Everything I tried, it opened perfectly and it worked perfectly. So I honestly have nothing bad to say about the performance. Now what we also have is the front facing camera. Now you can use this for video chat, Zoom, Skype, whatever you want. You can also record videos with it, 720p resolution, so take pictures. Now the quality isn't the best, but that's what's to be expected from any kind of laptop, to be honest. What we also have is the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and of course the microphone. Now let's talk about this gorgeous screen. This is 15.4 inch, 1080p resolution, full HD, and it's also a touch screen. So you can just touch the screen, open whatever you want if you don't want to use keyboard and trackpad. And it works really, really good. So you can use it for that. Just you can use it as pretty much a big tablet if you want to. Now, when it comes to the screen brightness, it does get really bright. I usually keep it around 50, 60%. So this will be on the full brightness, which I feel like it gets too bright. So I keep it usually around 50%, but for the sake of review, I'll bump it to 70, 80%. Now let's talk about the keyboard. You have this full spacious keyboard with the numpad and the uh, keyboard took me a little bit, a little bit to get used to it. But once I got used to it, I was typing so fast that now the keyboard buttons are very soft and they're not as clicky. So I can be pressing, you guys not gonna hear anything, but they're very soft and they travel really nice. So my hands are moving pretty good. Now when it comes to the number pad, I haven't used that much. It's like one of those things it's nice to have, but if you're not using it, it's still good to have. You never know when you might use it. For example, if you're in college, you're doing taking finance classes, something where you're going to be entering a lot of numbers, I can definitely see this being very, very useful. Now let's talk about the trackpad. The trackpad is positioned to the left side, as you guys can see. Now the trackpad, I, I wasn't in love with as much as I enjoy other stuff but it works as as it should uh, i set it up for tap to click and honestly i haven't had any issues i just felt like it was a bit too slick at least for my own fingers now let's talk about the sound this chromebook has two speakers one on each side on the bottom of the chromebook now let me play you something Now for me, speakers were surprisingly good. I didn't expect that much volume coming out of them. So when I first used that, I was actually quite surprised. Uh, and I thought to myself, those are some good speakers. Now from this little free beats clip, you guys can hear a little bit of bass popping out and it's just very, very loud. Now I use this Chromebook to watch a lot of videos, mostly YouTube and Netflix, and the sound was really, really good to the point where I had to lower the volume because it sounded too loud, which honestly I can't say about many Chromebooks. Most of them, I put them on 100% and they're still not loud enough. For this one, I had to lower the volume because it does get very loud. Now let's talk about the gaming next. I played a few different games. 
Now I decided to show you this game because this game has a lot going on. It's in racing in the city. There's other cars. Also, there's some ads on the bottom. So all that adds to the CPU and GPUs. So let me show you how it plays. I'm gonna turn back the volume. And you, and you guys can hear how loud the sound gets. So that's why I always said I have to lower the volume, which is very surprising. Now on this one, you can use the keyboard, but you can also use the touch. But let me show you the keyboard first. Now let me show you the touch touch version. Let me see if I can do it. I haven't tried the touch one, but Now that was a fun racing game. You can actually adjust the settings. You can go from the lowest to the highest settings. I believe I had them at medium settings and that game performed decent. Now, as you guys notice, it did have a lot of different things going on. It had ads on the bottom. They were showing ads to watch stuff. So all that takes away from that CPU and GPU use. So, so considering that it still performed really, really good. Now the last thing I want to talk about is the battery. Now on the box, when I did the unboxing set up to 12.5 hours and at first I thought there's no way this crumble can get 12 hours for such a big screen, but it actually does. Now depending on the brightness level, if you keep it at 50, 60%, if you're using it for browsing and occasional video watching, I can definitely see that number go up to 12 hours. Now, if you're doing a lot of gaming, let's say you're doing four or five hours of gaming, you're probably only gonna get seven, maybe eight hours of um, battery life. Now, when it comes to charging, it comes with the 45 watt charger, I believe, and that charges this Chromebook from zero to 100 in less than two hours. So that's quite amazing as well. In conclusion, I really enjoy using this Chromebook. I'm honestly thinking about keeping it as, as my main laptop. That's how much I love it. Now, what I love about it is the screen. It just looks beautiful. It's bright enough. And you also have the touch screen. The second thing I love is the sound. It's very, very loud and very good sound, good quality sound. Now, the keyboard and trackpad also work really good. The battery life is amazing. Over 10 hours for such a big screen is just amazing. So for those reasons, I definitely recommend this Chromebook. Thank you guys for watching.